Okay, here we have a television, a woofer, some speakers, and a PC. And you know where we go. Here's the project of using a computer as my entertainment center set up. And what we have here is nothing fancy. One of the really old uh, Intel reference motherboard for the uh, Funk Side Bus 400 Pentium 4 processors. And uh, what's in there? Uh, well, again, nothing special. It's a 2 gigahertz Pentium 4. We have a uh, 9600 XT graphic card, 512 mega RAM. Got two hard drives here. That's my 80 gig backup from my uh, main computer. Uh, right now I'm using that 2.5 inch 160 gig, so yeah, I don't need that no more. I can use that. And the upper system is in the main drive. It's nothing but a 40 gig hard drive, but it would do since it's for entertainment purpose only. I'm not going to use it for anything fancy. And here we have a uh, DVD ROM. That be really good for movies and stuff. So, I'm going to put it right there in my TV stand. Hopefully I can make it look nice enough. And I'll have all the cords going through the hole over there. I don't know if you can see it. It's right there. To the back. So, cable management. Hopefully that will look fine. Originally I was thinking of building the whole computer on that piece of board. But, since I got three cats, so I don't think I want to risk that. I want this machine to be able to run a long time without having to worry about if my cat's going to get into it and ruin the whole thing or anything like that. So, here's my Dustbreak front panel USB. What I'm going to do, connect it to the motherboard, lead it out somewhere in front of the computer, and I'm going to use some tape to hold it up and that's it. As long as it's steady, who cares? Okay, so we have a connector right there and it leads to where flop is supposed to be. And that's where it goes. Two USB front panel. Okay, power cord. There's a mouse, audio, and it's video to the television. All connected. Now ready to put it in the spot. Okay, it's all ready. Let's get this thing a uh, start up. Oh yeah, I didn't plug the plugs to the power. Damn. Okay, let's test something out. Toronto Rocks Rolling Stones concert back in 2003. I went with that concert, although this DVD is a disappointment. Oh, Windows XP running at 800 times 600. Not all that clear, but I can read. That's good enough. And of course, I have the internet hooked right onto my router. Right there. So I can also get onto the internet. If I need to download something, if I need to be on MSN or whatever.
for the most part I don't need a keyboard unless I do want to type something I'm not going to shot on a television since it's not going to be very clear at all so I could just code out the uh, on screen keyboard thing I just click on the characters type what I got to type but then I do planning on buying a wireless keyboard and mouse set something cheap something that works It works great. I can even watch high definition videos if I want to. I mean, 2 gigahertz is enough to run. Not too much space. It's pretty late right now. So, this piece of junk now is a multifunctional media PC for my television. And just like to mention the main reason that I don't use the laptop project anymore is because of the uh, audio output does not give any audio at all so that's no good I can connect it to a speaker yeah so that's that hopefully I can find a way to make it uh, look a little better in the near future since we added these boxes are some of my baseball card collection I still have a lot used to be my uh, only hobby collect baseball cards back in the mid 90s got some of the Japanese cards as well that's uh, Ichiro when he was in Japan another Ichiro card don't know if they're worth anything at all I mean it's not American baseball cards these are Japanese baseball cards this guy used to play for Yankees for a little while And some of the other collections, something slightly older. This one is the 1990. Stuff like that. Here and there, I do some collections, some baseball cards. So there you go. Uh, problem solved. I didn't end up buying another DVD player from Walmart. I didn't really want to do that because those kind of cheap DVD players they eventually they'll break in the next year or two. I might still have a uh, you know uh, older computer. I got it for free anyway. Some of the old parts I put together because we just upgraded the computer at work. And yeah, it worked out good. And also uh, there's a lot more things I can do on my computer other than just playing videos. And then there's no limitations on the codec. Just hey, you can always download different type of codec. Uh, all kinds of code that you want, you can watch all kinds of video you want and there's a lot more than that so that's pretty good thanks for watching